Let me take you with me on my journey. This time, fail edition. Note to myself, after powering up, the ESC needs a special throttle sequence to react to throttle commands later on. If it was running once, following throttle commands will work properly. Notice that I turn the vacuum cleaner on and off by hand all the time. Okay, so far so good. But let's try again with the ESC working correctly. You can't see it right now, but I somehow managed to disable the part cooling fan this time. Don't ask me why. What do you think is going to happen? And what if the airflow of the vacuum is missing too? This PETG is still too soft. Yeah. The vacuum can't save it now, either. Away with it! The previous errors were clearly the fault of the model. So let's switch to one with the round feature. Please pay attention to the front corner of the printed part. Ok, the part cooling fan is back on and I will mill only 5 layers each time. And bad adhesion is gone.
The chatter on the left side is probably due to the lost battery, I assume. And if you watch closely, you notice no step over of the cuts, which results in this fine horizontal lines. With the help of my new buddy Adrian, I stepped up my game by printing a TPU raft and the part out of CPE HG100 by Filamentum. This time the G-code is completely done by Fusion 360 and the plugin from Andy Everett. Oh, and the vacuum is finally on automatic mode. Notice the slow travel moves, which is a limitation by Fusion 360's free version. Also, the chatter marks are due to too high chip load as I'm running the tool too fast. This is roughly 500mm per minute and just about 5000 rpm and a single flute cutter. Did you notice that? The part is still too soft. The depth of cut is 1.5mm, which is just about 7 layers. In the last round, the generated G-code tried to cut 10 layers at once, which is way too much. I probably need to redo this in the cam setup. Also, the surfacing operation probably needs totally different cutting parameters. Do you happen to have suggestions? Wow, let's work on these chatter marks. Okay, let's try that again. TPU raft and CPE HG filament. But this time we increased the feed by 50 mm per minute each time. Let's start at 250 mm per minute.
These chatter marks do look the same as the 500mm per minute feed. Now a feed of 300mm per minute. Oh, that's an improvement. Heads up, look at this. I'm not sure about that yet. Now a feed of 350mm per minute. Looks about the same as the last one. And again, too much layers at the end of the coat. This time 400 millimeters per minute. The chatter marks seem to increase, which is either because of the higher depth of cut or the faster feed. I spare you the surfacing operation. Okay, that's it for today. I would be happy if we can exchange ideas about what was shown. ASMBL is also still new to me, but I can already see the incredible advantages.